we'll keep our eye on the Senate to see if they do anything about the Patriot Act. Meantime, Coach Dean Smith, one of the winningest basketball coaches in history, he mentored players like Michael Jordan, Phil Ford, Sam Perkins, James Worthy, Vince Carter, and Jerry Stackhouse. I could go on here. Smith was known for his leadership, his love of the game, and for his love of his players. And joining me now is David Chadwick, author of the new book on Smith called It's How You Play the Game, 122 Leadership Principles of Dean Smith. Good to have you with us, Mr. Chadwick. Yeah, it's great to be with you. Thanks for the privilege of being on the program. Oh, it's a privilege to have you with us. One story I love to hear after Coach Smith passed away is how he left $200 in his will to every single player who ever played for them, telling to them to enjoy a dinner on him. What does that tell us about his overall leadership style? Well, it shows that he cared for all of his players deeply. He was fiercely loyal to us, and that even from the grave, he wanted to make sure that he blessed us. You know, he made this decision before his neurocognitive disorder was discerned in 2008. So when he was making up his will, he wanted to make sure that all of his former players got $200 after he died so that we could take our wives out to dinner. My wife and I did that. And as we were served, we just imagined Coach Smith being the waiter, bringing the food to us and saying, hey, guys, this one's on me. That's the kind of person he was. Very generous, very caring for all those people who played for him. And let me just correct myself. There was an extra two they got in my script there. I should say 12 leadership principles for Dean Smith. I'm sorry about that, David. But uh, talking about these, this dinner that the, that the former players and you got to have with their wives, that obviously shows that Coach Smith knew that basketball was, yes, very important, but there was more to basketball or more to work uh, than just this, that. There's also life to be lived, and that includes spending quality time with people you care about. Yeah, I would say that he would w most want to be remembered for being, first of all, a great teacher who taught kids how to play the game of basketball. Secondly, a great teacher to teach kids how to learn how to play the game of life. Uh, but he was also a person who really wanted to make sure that everyone knew that the most important quality of leadership was to be a servant leader, to care for people more than yourself. He never used us for his own ends. He always wanted to serve us for our ends. And that's, I think, what made him such a unique leader. Now, we, we look at the game today and we hear about stories that could tell the opposite without getting into specifics or casting any blame on any specific coach. But do you think the game has changed a lot, college basketball, since the heyday of Coach Smith? Oh, most certainly. I, I think he hates the physical play in the post and how that changed the free flow nature of the game. I think he also hated the one and done idea of bringing a freshman in who would stay only one year and the NCAA basketball arena becomes a mere stepping stone to the NBA. Uh, I think he also hated the whole idea that academics are thrust in a secondary role to the whole idea of winning because he thought that players should graduate. That was the major thing he was about. 97% of all of his players graduated and over 40% of those went on to get postgraduate degrees. He really was a teacher and an academician first yeah. before even yeah. being a basketball coach. That's an enormous That's testament to his leadership at the school. Now, also, we know a lot of times great leaders thrive on competition. And, you know, there's another great leader across the state and Mike Krzyzewski. What was his relationship like with Coach K? Well, I think at first, Coach K envied the position Coach Smith had. He, he nicknamed him St. Dean early on because he thought he got all the calls, which is ironic because right. most people today think Coach K gets all the calls. But I think it evolved into a mutual respect between the two because both of them set the standard for success. And if you don't mind me mentioning this as a Carolina guy, Coach Smith did beat Coach K more than he beat him. Yeah, well, I, I let that door open for you to walk through there. And we have uh, J.D. Hayworth, who is an NC State guy here on our staff. And, you know, he says even some kind things about Dean Smith every once in a while. But a guy everybody has to respect, even if you did play against him at Duke University. David Chadwick, thanks so much for being with us. Great being with you. Thanks for the privilege of being on the program. My pleasure. Again, once more time, the book is called It's How You Play the Game, 12 Leadership Principles of Coach Dean Smith. We've got much more coming back here on Newsmax Now. Our political panel is coming up. What did Hillary Clinton know and when from one of her closest aides about the Benghazi attack? We're going to take a look at that with Rick Unger and Larry Eller joining us right after this commercial break.